Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about flying the Schweitzer 126 at Texas Soaring Association. Whether you're a seasoned pilot or a novice and like to fly gliders, just be sure to look us up. Go to texassoaring.org. Our club has two of these and can you imagine it's only $10 an hour to fly. $10 an hour. That's amazing. Schweitzer manufactured these in the 50s, 60s and the 70s has a wingspan of about 40 feet. It stalls at about 28, thermaling at about 38, and cruises between 45 and 50. Don't underestimate this glider. One of our members flew one of these over 440 miles. Looking at this next image, I'll be displaying information in real time. I used a built-in GPS data logger and added it to this video to make these effects in real time. Starting from the bottom left hand corner, that's ground speed, not air speed. GPS only calculates ground speed, so don't get that confused. Moving up to the top left, that's our flight time. In the center top, that's our compass heading. On the right hand side is our rate of climb indicator as measured in feet per minute. On the right hand bottom corner, that's our altimeter as measured in feet. Alright, let's get ready for takeoff. Here we go. One of the things they teach you is on takeoff is don't bang the tail. So if you've ever said you have never done that, I'd say you're probably lying. <laughs> I'll be airborne before the tow plane, so I gotta keep it on the deck about five feet. After liftoff, we'll just both climb together. I'll keep it in line with the tow plane. What's amazing, and I didn't realize this, that you can safely make a 180 degree turn very low to the ground. Not something you would do with a conventional airplane for sure, but you can do it with a glider. At this time I'm about 3,000 feet above the ground. I'm pulling the release, turning to the right, ascending, while the tow plane makes a left hand turn, descending. I'm flying with the canopy removed. Now at this point I got down to about 2,500 feet and I was actually able to find some thermals. Still today this is a very popular glider to fly. Now I have increased my altitude coming up close to almost 4,000 feet and this was in October and it will certainly fly in a very marginal amount of lift. Okay let's prepare for landing. I've set up my pattern. I'm on a left downwind for runway 18 at TSA and of course I'm looking for traffic at this time and we're flying downwind. Not much wind today but just a little bit. At this point let's just watch the remainder of the landing sequence. So I hope you enjoyed this video, so be sure and look us up. Just go to texassoaring.org for more information about learning to fly gliders and sailplanes at TSA. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the air next time. Bye-bye.